Pigmentation is a very common concern. I have many patients that come with this complaint and they're always looking for new and better solutions for their pigmentation. One of the best treatments for pigmentation is chemical peels. I'm Dr. Anika Goyal, MD Dermatologist, Senior Consultant and Founder of Soul Derma Clinic, New Delhi. What is pigmentation? Pigmentation is due to an increase in melanin in our skin, which leads to a darkened appearance of certain parts of our skin. So it's very important when we treat pigmentation to understand what the underlying cause is. What are the causes of pigmentation? One of the causes could be due to underlying health factors, like if you're overweight, if there's insulin resistance, something known as acanthosis nigricans. It may be due to excessive sun exposure. It could be genetic. It may even be due to excessive rubbing. It could be because of dryness, eczemas, allergies, allergic contact dermatitis. It could be due to underlying deficiencies of vitamins, for example, vitamin D, vitamin B, and iron deficiencies can also lead to pigmentation. So there are many causes of pigmentation and it's important to identify these. Chemical peels are one of those treatment options that we've been talking about for years as dermatologists. Recently, they've really been spoken about more. We have AHAs, we have BHAs, but chemical peels essentially are a form of exfoliation for the skin along with targeted treatment of the skin. So now with modern solutions, we no longer have the typical excessive peeling, redness, exfoliation that one would anticipate because of the name, which is chemical peeling. What actually happens is a micro exfoliation of the skin along with treatment. For example, when we talk about treating pigmentation, there are certain acids and chemical options used. For example, glycolic acid, which is great for breaking down the pigment in the deeper layers of the skin. And these acids are used in different concentrations to treat different depths of the skin. So chemical peels are not superficial procedures only. They can be superficial, they can be medium depth, they can even be deep peels. But essentially now with modern technology and advancements, we have advanced peels which are minimal downtime with amazing results, especially when it comes to treating pigmentation. The pigmentation should ideally be examined by your doctor before even opting for the peel to identify whether it's superficial, whether it's deep, is it epidermal or dermal pigmentation. So these pigmentations have different colors and according to this, your doctor will choose which peel is to be used and the number of sessions required. So we do have to be patient when it comes to treating pigmentation, but as I mentioned, peels are a great option for this. The best part about chemical peels is we have all kinds of peels when it comes to treating the skin. The most commonly asked question is downtime of a peel because we do associate chemical peels with literal peeling of the skin. So they're relatively safe and the downtime is relatively minimal depending on the depth of the peel. We have peels which you can apply and you can directly go for a party at night as well. And then there are peels which may cause a little bit more of exfoliation and may have two to three days of downtime, which will be slightly deeper and better for the pigmentation. So ideally before the procedure, you don't want to be using active ingredients for at least a day or two. And post procedure, I would want you to use lots of moisturizer and lots of sunscreen to protect the skin barrier and to protect the new skin that would be coming up along with the skin from sun exposure. The purpose of this video is to educate you about pigmentation, but I would still recommend you should always consult your dermatologist before treating pigmentation and before opting for chemical peels. They should always be done under your doctor's supervision. If you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to my channel, you can click on the bell icon for further updates and comment down below for any further questions.